This is my Dell Inspiron 1720, and it was my first ever laptop, and today we're going to be upgrading it. First, we got an SSD here, and then we got 4 gigabytes of RAM we're going to be putting in, and I got a new battery for it. So let's get started. There's one dim on, under here. And you pull these tabs over like this, and the old one pops right out. Here's our new dim. Push it in there, and then you just put it down like that. Next, we're going to be putting in the second dim, and here we got to take this panel off here, and then take the keyboard out, and then the that other dim is on right under here. I just get a flat head bit and pry that off a little bit. Then you need to open this up away. And you can start wiggling it off of there. You can see it just came off. Now we gotta take out these four screws here. And now you just gotta push the keyboard back and these little clips have an opening there so you can pull it out then. And now we got our keyboard out. You can see right there we got an access port for other damn memory. We got a new stick here. And now Put the keyboard back in. Line it up there and then go push it back in. And now we're going to put these four screws back in. Now we're going to put this cover back on to open this up the whole way. You just whip it on like this. We got our RAM done. Next we're going to change to our SSD right under this panel right here is where your hard drives are. So we'll take that off. Now you got your hard drives here. This will be hard drive one. And this is hard drive two. But I'm going to be taking both of these out because I only need one now because it's larger capacity. So I'm going to take these out. And then you want to grab one of these the pull tab right here on the hard drive, and then you just pull up on there, and then you got your hard drive out. We're just going to pull on this tab again, you pull this one out. Now we're going to need to, if you're reusing your hard drive caddy, you got to take this drive out so we can put our SSD in. You take it out with these four screws here. Now that we got our four screws out of there, you need to push this up and then pull it out. And then this little adapter here, which makes it go into the connector on the laptop, we gotta pull this out so we can put it on our other drive. Now we got our adapter out and we can go get our SSD. Here is our SSD. So we're gonna put this connector on here. And then now we're gonna put in this hard drive caddy here, these screws that line up with that. that we got our SSD in here, we can put in the laptop. I want mine to be in hard drive one. So I'm gonna 
slot that in there, and then push down on it, and then we'll put our screws in. You want to make sure you leave this screw over here and this screw over here open, because that's where this cover screws into. Now we got our SSD in there. Got a brand new battery here. So I'm pressing F2 here, and that's gonna let us go into setup. We can go make sure that our SSD and our RAM is detecting properly. So now we're in setup. So we can go down and look at that. So that's 4,086 megabytes of RAM, so that's four gigs. So it's detecting all of it. We got our 240 gig hard drive detected, SSD. So now we can exit setup and start installing Windows. So now it's time to install Windows. And I'm actually gonna go with Windows Vista because that's what originally came on this device. I just like using it. So we need to open up our drive over here and put our disk in. And then we're gonna press F1 and it's gonna search all our devices and we'll find our boot disk and then we can start setting up windows so I'll see you when that's done I got Windows Vista finished installing and you can see it's detecting all 4 gigs of RAM and if you want the links to download service pack 1 and 2 for Windows Vista they'll be in the description from Microsoft's website thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing and if you want to see more content about computers and fixing things, comment down below.